All right, turning back now to our forecast. Boy, did we have quite a day. We had a little bit of sunshine in the morning and then some massive downpours and then a nice rainbow to top off the evening, Lonnie. <laughs> Here you go. Um, keep in mind, the ground was saturated from yesterday to begin with, and now some areas picking up three, six inches of rain. I mean, that's just crazy. It's so much quieter right now. 70 degrees. It's a mostly clear sky as of right now. And, and like I said, we're done with it, except for the very east end with a little bit of a raindrop here or there. That's nothing major. That will clear out very shortly. You're going to be fine going into your day tomorrow. This is tomorrow's weather right there. This is Wednesday's weather. That does come with some problems. I think that's going to be heavy at times. Let's talk about the timing. So Tuesday, you're okay with a little flash of a sprinkle for maybe a couple of you. But Wednesday morning, in comes that secondary front that just showed you off to our west. This is heavy rain. Again, this is 4 o'clock in the morning. It's right over New York City around, say, you know, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. By 8.30 now, starting to push out just east of the city. Some heavy rain lingering down around the Jersey Shore. You always give or take, you know, an hour or two when you're looking at a projection from a computer like this. But there you have it. And we thought initially it was going to be just the morning commute, not the afternoon commute. Well, stop the presses. Just picking up on much more instability out there. And now Wednesday, 4 o'clock. And for your drive home, we're still seeing batches of heavy rain out there. We have issued a yellow alert now for Wednesday. Again, the ground is just, it's just too saturated. It can't hold any more rain. I think there could be some problem with flooding out there and also some ponding on the roadways, which makes driving difficult. So Wednesday, yellow alert. Let me give you the latest on Lee. All right, we've got Category 1 Margo. We have Category 3 Lee. Lee is the one that we've been watching. All along, we've been watching this. 115 mile per hour winds. Right now, it's about 600 miles to the south of Bermuda. Let's talk about where this is going. It's moved to the west and northwest now at seven miles per hour. We think about 24 hours from now, it's going to make a hard turn to the north and sort of just push, push on straight up to, okay, right now projecting, if you were to follow the skinny red line, it would be like Nova Scotia. But look at how this is all playing out. All right, the cone has adjusted itself a little bit more to the east. When I was with you at five o'clock, the edge of the cone was into Rhode Island. Now it's barely clipping Cape Cod. All right, that bodes well for people who live on shore, right? I and mean, that's good. And if you look at the computer models, how they're all working, all right, a lot of them do see that, that wobble at the end. A lot are doing that, but again, it's just farther out into the ocean. So it's going basically north of our area, with the exception here's an outlier taking it into Cape Cod. But even if it follows that outlier, what does it mean for us? It means a rough surf. It means some beach erosion, perhaps. Uh, but we do not, as of today's information, see a landfall in our area. I mean, things can change. I'll let you know what happens tomorrow. But we do, we do look forward to a good day weather-wise tomorrow. 80 degrees, not much rain at all. Yellow alert for your day on Wednesday. And that's because there could be some heavy downpours again in the morning and in the afternoon. And then we watch Lee for the weekend. But hopefully, stays well offshore. All right. Thank you, Lonnie.